up y'all, Jason here representing Raptor Reptiles and today I'm bringing you guys a feeding video, a long awaited feeding video. I know I haven't done one in a minute, so today I figured I'd bring you guys something special. So, picked up a couple cups of blue horn worms, so they're of good size now, kind of let them sit for a couple days, grow out. Um, so we're going to feed these raptors some nice uh, blue hornworms, watch the massacre. So I really hope you all enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so this is going to be the feeding ground for the video. And these are the two cups of blue hornworms I talked about. Um, so basically once you get it, there's some food in this one, the remaining of it. And basically they kind of just layer the cups probably about, you know, this length. Um, and these guys, they send them to you really small. They kind of get gut loaded after, I would say like a week max. I mean, depending on what temperature you keep them in, they pretty much eat that food and they blow up. So there's some big ones in here, as you can see. There's also some smaller ones, but all the food's gone. I like them to kind of eat all the nutrients up, at least most of it. Um, this way they're gut loaded, ready to go. So these guys are really good as a treat. Let me say that one more time. As a treat. You don't want these to be a staple for your dragons. I mean, they love these things. Any dragon, I don't care where you got it. They love them. And they go crazy for it. It's basically like crack for them. Um, so they must like the way they look, the way they taste, all that. But... Um, this is good here to hydrate them, so it's about, I would say it's like roughly, they're about 10% protein, 85% moisture, and the remaining 5% is, you know, fiber and um, fat. So, yeah, I get them as a treat, you know, maybe like once or once a month, maybe twice if there's an expo or something. Um, they are kind of on the expensive side. And, you know, dragons will get picky if you are giving them these too much. They're kind of going to hold off on all the other stuff and be like, oh, and just wait for the hornworms. Because, like I said, they're smarter, you know, than what most people think. They can get a bit picky. So, to avoid that, just give them to them, you know, once a month as a treat. You know, like I said, it's good for hydration and everything. And, yeah, so let's get into it. All right, so we'll start off with my boy, Rojo. What'd I tell you? Boom! They love him. That blood and guts. My main girl knocks. Strike. And also with these, you know, I don't want to hear, oh, it's too big for the dragon. No, it's not too big for the dragon because they're made out of 85% moisture, so they're very easy to digest. You know, dragons have teeth, so I can literally feed her the biggest hornworm with no issue. But also on the same note, you don't want to feed them too much because of the excessive moisture. You know, it can cause them some diarrhea. So, you know, just use your best judgment. Like I always say, I'm not the end all. I just go off of experience. I do my own thing. And from my experience, it hasn't harmed them. Feeding them extra big ones or, you know, two or three. If you did two or three every day, then you're gonna, like I said, run into problems. 
It's a treat once a month. Once I get a taste, man. She is just really starting to flourish. Amazing. She's already in a full body shed. My boy Magnus. Everybody know what time it is. Did a little scared shit. <laughs> Think a little, little shit right there. I guess that's what happens when you get beasted by a raptor. basically in full breeding mode so he's been really super selective you know he, he's not eating you know a huge massive amounts right now he's just kind of on the hunt for females at the moment we go mr. blackbeard aka Salem He's a good hunter. My girl Mellow. Oop, another little scared shit. Almost ate up my decor. <laughs> Boom. And also remember their sight animals. So they're sight hunters, they hunt by sight. So if something's not moving, they may not go right to it. That's the reason why I'm moving, you know, the tongs around. Try and get them enticed. She may be good after just the two. Give one more shot. She does seem a bit agitated today. Now I know my fat girl Jabba Joe Hut. She's definitely gonna eat some of these. She locks in. Ooh, a little messy one. Ooh, she caught it. Teach him tricks here at Raptor Reptiles. Bringing you guys the game. Who else is out here doing this? Boom. That's good for her. Got my girl Rory.
running out of them big ones. Damn, killer instinct. jump shot but see if we can get her she's super aggressive eater oh. another one trying to eat the decor Let's see if we can get a third times a charm Super pleased with her outcome, she just animalistic. <laughs> She's like, let me dad, let me fit let me swallow this. Let me finish this. Maybe I'll go for the last one. So 50-50, two jump shots out of four. Good girl. Ooh. Ivy. Ooh. <laughs> Savage. Girl Scar, along with Ivy, also produced here at Raptor Reptiles. Knows what time it is. Like I said, I normally wouldn't feed him this small, but the guy that I buy from, he sends good worms out and none of them died and all the food's gone, so. One more. Boom. All right. All right, and last but not least, Big Bubba. I like to feed him in his lair. That's where he likes to eat. Savage. See, some dragons, you know, they're only eat in their cage. Like I said, they're all different. He's just so used to it. Oh damn, and flexing. Eating good food and showing off. Actually ran out. That's actually all I got. all she wrote two cups of blue horn worms down I'm sure you guys will notice I actually didn't get around to getting one to Anubis so he'll be getting fed first next time 
Um, thought I actually, had, actually would have had enough. I wish there actually would have been a little bit more food in there for them to grow, because as you saw, there were a couple babies at the end, but eh, what can you do? You live and you learn. Maybe I'll have to start getting three cups now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it was entertaining, something cool, like I said. I'm trying to bring you guys a game. Just stuff I do, you know, on the regular. Nothing out of the ordinary, no secrets, you know. I'm just trying to help you, you know, give you my knowledge that I already know. Kind of put it out there. Um, so, I really hope it helps. And, you know, at the end of the day, as long as you guys are entertained and learning, that's, you know, all I really care about. So, with that being said, I'll be bringing some, you know, really big announcements coming up in the next month or so. So stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to try and be a little bit more active. Um, so as usual, stay tuned for more.